first thing you are going to need is the PSK uh, file of the weapon and also the texture that I will leave it in the description. So as you can see the, these are the files. I recommend you making a project folder so you can store everything inside it. The first thing we're going to need is Blender, which you can download it from Steam. Now, once you're on, a, on Blender, you have to set up some things. So you are going to go to User Preferences, then go to Add-ons, and now look for PSK, and then select the checkboxes so as you can see I have them selected so I'm going to reselect it in order for the changes to be applied you have to reopen blender now go to file import and psk then look the uh, look for the model in my case is the ppsh uh, weapon model now we are going to the a scene objects and we are going to delete everything which is not the PPSH like the camera the cube and the lamp and now inside the PPSH we are going to take out the bones so we only have the mesh and once we have that we are going to go to file export and then choose whatever you want I'm going to choose 3ds because it's the one that I use in Photoshop Then name it as you want, I'm going to put PP Sage 3D Model Photoshop. Now close Blender and open up Photoshop. I have it on Spanish, but don't worry. Just go to open and select the 3DS model. And now just play with the illumination and the textures as you want. I'm gonna do it really quickly. So I'm going to put the illumination facing down the, the weapon and reduce the intensity. Uh, now I'm going to copy all the textures, which are those that end up with TGA, that means Targa. So just I'm going to copy the original texture and the normal map, which are those ones, and copy them into my project folder. Now I'm going to open them. And as you can see, these are the texture and the normal. Now right click and replace texture and you can select the texture. So now we have the PPSH as we will see it in the game. Now I'm going to uh, do the same style that I did with the STG. So I'm going to open up the texture of magma. I'm going to show you how to do it. For example, you can directly paint into the 3D model. So then the texture is going to be in edit texture. Or if you don't like this method, you can go ahead and simply edit the file, which is what I'm going to do. Now double click in the layer so you can unlock it and then Control j in order to copy now i'm going to save it as a psd which is a project of photoshop and i'm going to take the wood and turn it into black wood 
So just select the pixel, the pixels, and I'm going to Control J to uh, make it another layer with the with the pixels that I have selected. And as I've said, I'm going to turn it into black. So we just go ahead and uh, black color and paint it. Now, if you want to see the, cha the changes, you have to save us on the Targa, which is the TGA format, and I'm going to name it as test1. Now go to the 3D model, right click and replace texture, and select test1. As you can see, now the wood is black, but we are going to quickly do the uh, magma style, so I'm just going to uh, mm, take the magma texture and with Ctrl J copy them and then with, with Ctrl E is to mix, uh, to join layers. Now I'm going to save it as test2, so we can go ahead and right click, replace and test2. So as you can see there is no detail, no detail and it looks really bad, but that's because we haven't done the uh, normal map yet. So we are going to save it as a PNG in order to make the normal map. Now once we have the PNG, I'm going to leave you in the description a link to a web page that turns PNGs into normal maps. Just select the, the file that we have just created and it will automatically download the normal maps but uh, I don't want those because I'm going to play around with the, the level and the length so you can see in real time the changes and then when you get what you want just click on download and then, as you can see, this is the normal map. So go ahead and show a folder and copy it to the uh, to our project folder and rename it as you want. Now you can. Uh, now you can use it as a normal map, but as I want the wood to be in the skin, we have to mix both normal map, the original and this new one. So now copy the lava and put it into the other normal map and rename the original as original and the other one put the name that you want now as i want the uh, good and other stuff to be to kept similar as the normal skin we are going to just copy the uh, to drag and drop the wood the black wood and right click select pixels and then go to the to our new normal map and delete the normal map that we have just created
So as you can see, now we have the good and the magma. So we can delete, delete the black the black wood layer. Now, as we don't want to lose all those details, we are going to reduce the opacity of the normal map. So as you can see, there is uh, more details, but I want more, so I'm going to reduce the opacity. And now join them and save as Targa, which is the TGA file, as I said before, and I'm going to save it as magma normal. Save it, click on OK. And now that we have all of this, we have to go to Blender and then file import the now the extension that you selected. As I selected 3ds, I'm going to choose 3ds. Now take the PPSH model, get rid of all of the things that are in the scenes, and now export as FBX, which is the format that Unreal Engine uses. I'm gonna name it PPSH underscore 3D model for Unreal. Now click on save, well, on export, and go to Unreal. Once that we are in Unreal, as you can see, I have inside my mod some folders, and one of these is weapons. Inside of this, I'm going to create the PPSH folder. Uh, and now we are going to drag and drop the texture, the normal map, and the FBX model that we have created. Wait and import all. Now that everything is inside Unreal Engine, we can open up the 3D model. And as you can see, this is white, like this is white, it has no texture or no map map. So we have to open the material, which is the file that joins all the textures and normal maps that uses that the 3d mesh uses so we just drag and drop the texture and join it as a base color and now drag and drop the normal map and join it as a normal now click on save So as you can see, now the 3D model is ready. Now these are my other skin. And I'm going to place the PPSH here. Once you have it there, you can press play or export the mod and see in-game. So I'm going to press play. So also remember to join the Discord community of Battalion, uh, there you can post your mods and also your skin 